So today's episode on reawakening, I'm just going to be giving a tough, this is actually just a tough lesson for me to talk about. It's going to be about hell. It's just really a, a painful topic. I mean, there's a lot of people that I know, family members and everybody else that aren't going to be going to heaven and it kills me internally. This really kills me internally. I hate, I just, I, it has to be taught because this is the truth. You know, just, here's a passage on it out of the chapter 9 of um, Psalms. The nations have struck down in the pit which they made, in the net which they hid. Their own food, foot is caught. The Lord is known by the judgment he executes. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that for, forget God... For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectations of the poor shall not perish forever. So here's the things about hell. It's not our, it's not anyone's, it's our fault when we go to hell. If we do. We make our own pit when we go to hell. You can't blame God for it. Because you have a conscience, you have a soul. I mean, it just kills me. I mean, these people have forgotten about God. God loves you. He sent his son for you to die so you don't have to go there. This breaks his heart to watch people go to hell. It breaks my heart. You know, that's the most heartbreaking thing. If you punch me in the face, I'm fine with that. I'd rather have you punch me in the face than go to hell. I'd rather have that. I'd rather have my leg be chopped off than you go to hell. I would trade that. I would trade my life for yours. But this really just kills me. And I mean, this is justifiable. Here's some more hell what I'm sorry, here's some more scripture on what hell looks like. So Matthew twenty five. Then he will also say to those on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into the everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels, for I was hungry and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not take me in. Naked, you did not clothe me. Sick and in prison, you did not visit me. Then they also will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked or sick, or in prison, and did not minister to you? Then he will answer them, Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did not to do it to one of the... The least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go into, away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into everlasting eternal life. So the fire is eternal. This is eternal separation for God. We're going to go to the hell for, we go to hell for the commission, our sins of commission and omission, and it's the permanent, it's the saddest thing of all time. God never wanted to send anybody to hell. He doesn't want you to go to hell. I mean, this, it kills me internally because, you know, these flames never go out, you know. Like, if you know Jesus and you're not telling people about this awful place and sharing them the gospel, you can be thrown there as well. I mean, and, you know, guys, I love you. I love you. You know, we've all struggled. We've all sinned. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. We've all committed adultery. We've all struggled with lying, cheating, stealing. You know, it's, thou shall not commit adultery. Thou shall not lie. Thou shall not steal. Thou shall not lose, use the Lord's name in vain. Our action says we de say we deserve to go to hell. Our thoughts will even say it more and you know and if you're that's the bad news but the good news is the gift of god's eternal life in christ jesus our lord like jesus can save you from your sin that whoever believes him should not perish but have eternal life whoever calls on the name of the lord shall be saved and guys if you know him and you're not sharing you can be throwing that lake of fire with him don't kid yourself guys i love you very much peace